YouTube, what's going on everybody? Hey, uh, today I'm back with another video and I'm in my home state in North Carolina. So I'm really excited about that. And today I'm um, gonna be exploring and reviewing um, Browns Creek Nature Trail uh, here in Elizabethtown, North Carolina. And it's funny, I, I never knew this trail existed uh, my parents stay in Elizabethtown, North Carolina. I'm from Wilmington, North Carolina originally, and which is only like 45 minutes from here. And so I'm really excited after researching and, and, and reading reviews about this particular trail. It is hot today right now. I waited way too late um, in the day to go on this trail, but this may be the only time I have to hit it. So it's like a scorching 97 degrees out here. So I'm not sure if it's going to be uh, how long I'm going to be out here, but uh, we'll we'll see. Today I am taking the Nashiki, Colorado. This is the one that I have here uh, at home in NC. And the thing about this particular bike is, is um, uh, it's brand new, so this is my first ride on it. I did the minor upgrades to it uh, in the last video. You saw I changed out the pedals, the handlebar, the stem, um, added a water cage, uh, changed the brake levers. Added a mud guard um, and a few other extra things to it, but nothing major. Um, so this will be my first take on that particular bike, but I already have that same bike in Florida, so I already pretty much know how it rides. Um, from what I hear, it's not that many stumps or anything on this trail, so I really don't have anything too much to be riding over. So this is probably going to be just a, a quick overview of the trail. I hear it's about six miles long, so I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know uh, if that's accurate or not. Another review I said uh, review I read said it was like four miles uh, but it might have been an older review so um, today it's hot it's dry so I hear this trail can be very dusty um, so I'm probably gonna get really dirty out there but hey I'm excited about it anyway uh, anyway I'll try to make this as short as possible I'll see you on the trail Trail is fast, man. Woo, yeah.
Whoa. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit, son. Oh. This shit is awesome. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. Damn. What a save.
Oh. people Yeah. Oh. 
Shit. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh. Damn, I need it. this AC down because it is now 98 degrees and it is hot 
by far, that is the funnest trail that I've been on. Out of all my videos, which I think I got, I don't know how many reviews of trails, probably about, um, I would say maybe, I don't know, eight at least. I'm not really sure. Um, if I would rank out of all of my videos as of today, which it is June 29th, 2019, this is by far my favorite trail in Browns Creek, Elizabethtown, North Carolina. Home state wins it. If I had to rank in order right now of all the trails that I've been on for my favorite, Browns Creek would be number one. Markham Park and Sunrise would be number two. And uh, it's a toss up for number three. Even though some of the other ones are really short, there are some fun trails that I've hit in um, some of the backwoods in Florida. So I don't really have a number three. My top two right now are going to be Browns Creek and then Markham Park would be number two. Santos is coming up soon in Ocala and so I'm sure that's probably going to rank up there. But this thing, Browns Creek, man, somebody please explain to me where these mountains came from. I mean, I, the hills and those forests, that it's crazy. And the speed that I was going and the turns that I was doing, that was a fast, fun, exciting trail. Point blank. I had, I had no idea that this gym was like in our backyard here in North Carolina. So anyone that's watching my videos, um, if you're new to my channel, you know, I do a lot of videos. I live in Florida, but I'm going to start hitting trails in North Carolina as well. But this is by far the funnest trail that I've hit so far. The only thing I would recommend if anyone's watching that actually um, that maintains this park or this trail is there's about mm, four spots where there's a lot of loose like beach sand right after you come off a drop into a turn and what the scary thing about that is you can easily um easily lose it uh you know by 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 going in those turns with that loose sand like that there, there was a couple times where i if I wouldn't have put my foot out, I definitely would have would have fallen over because it's just so slippery in that sand, especially when it's as dry as it is. I don't know if you could just pack dirt on it or if you could, I don't know, put something on it to cover maybe some carpet down or something into about three or four of those turns because it was so slippery and loose. And those tires are great. Like, I'm not going to say it's the tires because um, I have the Nashiki. I've been over a lot of stuff already with it. The cool thing about it, that thing, I am actually hope I got the clip of it. I was going over logs, and there are a lot of tree stumps out there, and some of them are in some crazy places that you don't expect. So I really do um, like this trail. I'll definitely be back. Next time I'm coming back, I'm not going to do any recording. I'm just going to focus strictly on having fun on that trail. It is dangerous, though. If you're not used to uh, very steep corners, high elevated drops um, if you just haven't had practice on trails period enough I don't recommend doing this this trail yet uh, because it's it's sometimes even I myself and I'm no expert I think at this point I'm kind of like an intermediate bike rider uh, I had to ride brakes all the way down I just had no idea that some of those drops were that steep and the speed that I was going even when riding the brake at times I was I was flying so yeah, man, that that trail is great. Um, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just tired, I'm out of breath, I'm hot, I'm probably dehydrated, I'm hungry. About to go enjoy the rest of my weekend with my family, it's my mom's birthday. Mom, happy birthday to you. And um, we about to go, go turn up at the house and get in the pool, man. So everyone enjoy your weekend, be safe on the trail, I'll catch you next time. One more thing I wanna say about that trail, guys. I gotta come back one more time, man. Let me put on a hat. My hair looks damn crazy out here. I'm sweating, I'm dripping sunscreen. I'm hot. Yeah. Anyway, um, one last thing I just thought about as I was on my way back to the house, and that is, you are going to work on that trail. The elevation and going uphill on that thing is crazy, and so just be prepared 
eat a good breakfast, eat a good meal, lunch, whatever, depending on what time you go, but you are going to work your way up on that trail. One of the guys, he said, uh, he told me, he was like, uh, man, yeah, and there's other parts to it over there. I don't even think I covered the whole thing. When I first got in, I went to the right. There was a sign saying the start of the trail, but then there were multiple trails and maybe I got lost. But I think I did about seven miles on that thing, but I did, seven or eight miles, but I did go back and retract because a guy on the trail told me I was going the wrong way, which I don't think I was going the wrong way, but I don't know. Maybe I was, maybe I wasn't. It was my first time on there. Um, but yeah, you're going to work on that trail. You are going to do a lot of uphill riding. Um, so be prepared for it. It's going to be exhausting. You know, since um, I'm in my hometown, I didn't bring any energy bars with me. I didn't have any of that on me. I just wanted to try out the new bike and, and do all of that. So, uh, so yeah, man, I am exhausted right now. But the downhill part, man, when you go downhill, it is so fun. And you are going to be flying down that thing. So um, I'm really excited, man, because that, that, that trail was really, really fun. I haven't, you can check all my videos. I don't think I've ever gotten off a trail and just started smiling and been excited like I was on that one. Um, Markham Park, I just got to learn it some more. That, that one's a fun trail as well. And I know it's a lot of different trails on that one and a lot of obstacles and, and tech technical features on that but uh i just don't know it well enough yet and the thing is this is so far away it's down by my my man Corey's house and you know i don't i don't know how many times i'll often get to take my bike down there but i will do a second part of that eventually um probably the biggest and most funnest trail closest to me in orlando will be santos and so i know that's going to be crazy but that right there is definitely uh, a diamond in the rough that uh is right in my backyard so i'm happy I'm going to learn that trail front and back and definitely try to master that thing. It's, it's just awesome. It's just a really cool trail. So anyway, guys, just want to throw that out there. Again, out of a rating from 1 to 10, I'm going to give that one an 8 so far. All right.